Well, in Charlotte, new life is coming to an old dairy farm that closed down. The property is set to become a center for agricultural business development. And as Jack Thurston tells us, its backers hope it could be a new model for rural America. Along Vermont's busy Route 7, leading to Burlington, the Big White Barn at Nordic Farms in Charlotte has long been a recognizable landmark. The cows that used to be here, though, are gone, part of the gradual contraction of dairy farming. When I got to Vermont, there were 7,000 dairies, now there's 600 dairies. Will Rapp, the founder of the well-known Vermont-based retailer Gardner Supply, is now leading a transformation of the nearly 600-acre property, envisioning it as an agricultural advancement hub. We need new industries to replace um, the farms that are going out of business. We need new kinds of innovation and diversification in agriculture to do that. Using practices aimed at actually improving soil quality, the evolved Nordic farms will house incubation and R&D space for the botanical industry, as well as join the fight against climate change by embracing technologies that generate renewable energy, store it, and remove carbon from the atmosphere. And American single malt is a growing category. Jeff Kozak is the CEO of the premium whiskey brand Whistlepig. He's excited about how the project emphasizes building Vermont's grain industry. A new grain co-op is forming here to sharpen approaches to planting, growing, milling, malting, and distilling on site, plus consumer education through tasting. By having basically the largest malt house in the eastern U.S. here, it gives us again another chance to tell a story about single malt. And consumers are used to talking about bourbon. We explained rye to them, and now we want to tackle single malt. The center says financing is coming together, but renovations and expansions are pretty complex, so the final vision could take a few years to be complete. And the plans do call for public areas too, including walking and cross-country ski trails. In Charlotte, Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.